What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you a neat little trick. It's hard as fuck to figure out, but it took me a while and once I got it, I got it. So I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to show you how to detect what key your samples are in and how to like play a company lines with them, melody lines, you know, just to fatten it up a little bit. First thing I did was I um, made sure that my loop was tight. And then I, it was playing the way I wanted to. I got the samples, time signatures correct. I detected the um, tempo right there by doing this, clicking on right clicking on the 44 100 hertz, did the auto detect, went to detection for songs with constant tempo. And after I did that, then I rounded it off. And then once I did that, I went into this section right here, the regions, when I clicked the lower right corner, lower left corner button, and I clicked detect beats. That way, when I drag it over into FL Studio, it's going to sync up real well. And then after I did that, then I went back to this section right here, the region section, and I clicked Detect Pitch Regions. And that, it will inject the notes into Edison, the notes that were hit. And then after I did that, I went to the, the pattern section, and you could either load it into anyone that you want if you're just using it to detect the pitch but if you're working on a project like I am I um, already have a layering um, s layering system set up and so I click the layer button or I click whatever button you want if you're not if you like I said I'm using it for a project right now so I'm gonna click where I want it to go so I went back into Edison then I click the tools section of the lower left corner button and then I went up into convert to score and dump the piano roll. Now what that did was it loaded the notes that were hit with the time signatures into the layering section. Okay? This is what it sounds like without the beat, without the um, sample. Here it is with the metronome. Now, I played with it a little bit. You quantized it, added some ghost notes, doubled it up, did a little bit of things so it don't sound exactly like the sample, but it still sounds like the sample. Now, here's the sample by itself. I'm sorry. And here goes the sample with the piano. Now, it's not finished, because I'm going to go in there and I'm going to tweak it some more to make it sound a lot more tighter, but I just want you guys to get the meat and potatoes of it. Um, and here goes the added bonus. You get to find out what key your samples are in. So you click that section, and you put your cursor anywhere inside the pattern window. And if you look up in the upper left corner, right underneath tools, right here, you'll see it'll tell you what key your samples is in. Mine is in B minor. Bang. So, now what I did was, remember in the earlier I told you I matched up the tempo of the, of the, of the sample with um, the tempo in FL Studio. That way it'll, it'll fit like a glove. Now I could, I, could, I could slow it down, speed it up, whatever, and it's going to play. What I did was I slowed it down, and this is what I got out of it. And that's it, man. I hope I helped you out a lot. You know, check me out, Reverb Nation, Miss Backslash, Mr. Price, P R Y C E, or Wayne Price on Facebook, what have you, man. Get at me. Keep making that music, baby.